Hey, this is Andy Kelly from PC Gamer, and I recently spent four hours with Cyberpunk 2077. I explored the open world, I completed a few missions, and experienced one of the game's life paths or origin stories. This is the first time I've actually played the game after several hands-off demos, and I was actually able to play it from the very start. You can read my full, in-depth preview on PCGamer.com right now, but here are some highlights from my time with the game. Spoilers, I liked it a lot. There are three life paths, Street Kid, Nomad and Corporal. These determine your starting location and your relationship with Night City. I chose the Nomad path, which starts me in the Badlands, a vast barren desert region on the outskirts of the city. This is a big, open space which developer CD Projekt Red considers one of the city's districts. You'll return here later in the game. I've taken a job to smuggle a valuable object into Night City, something nomads are known for. Unfortunately, the item I'm smuggling belongs to a powerful mega corporation. The Nomad intro ends with a dramatic car chase as the corpse agents hunt me down. Later I'm introduced to brain dancing. This is a popular form of entertainment in Night City, letting you experience recorded memories and emotions as if they're your own. Most people use brain dancing for sexual thrills or to see the world through the eyes of a celebrity, but you can use it for corporate espionage or casing a wealthy CEO's penthouse before you rip them off. You can scrub through a BD recording, fast forwarding, rewinding and pausing to scan for clues or valuable intel. You can move the camera around too and switch between three layers of data, visual, audio and thermal. Think of Batman's detective vision from the Arkham games, but more advanced. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. CDPR is famous for its side missions, and Night City is full of them. Gigs are substantial story-driven missions, similar to the side quests in The Witcher 3. Side jobs are smaller, more immediate moments, like challenging some local bare-knuckle boxers to a fight. And what would a cyberpunk city be without some cool futuristic nightclubs? I visited two in my demo. Afterlife is one of the most famous watering holes in Night City, frequented by legendary mercenaries, fixers and celebrities. Johnny Silverhand, the character played by Keanu Reeves, used to drink here. Long ago it was a morgue and you can see people using the pulled out slabs as tables, an example of the game's imaginative world building. Eating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools, fell asleep on that same bar. Usually up and coming mercs like Jackie and V wouldn't be allowed in here, but they're working for an influential fixer which gets their foot in the door. Designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Then there's Lizzie's bar. This place is famous for its brain dances. So in the back you'll see rows of booths with people slumped in leather sofas, hypnotized by their BD headsets. Lizzie's is also home to Judy Alvarez, a brain dance expert who helps V pull off a heist. Come here often, do ya? It's good to see you, cabros. 
Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been?